Hey guys, Game Bars 6 here, and we're back with another video. I know it's been quite a bit, it's been a little more than a week. Um, I've actually finished two artworks uh, between the time I uploaded the last video, which I think was last Sunday, relative to the time I'm uploading this, which it should be Friday that this video goes up. Friday, October 9th? Yeah, Friday, October 9th. So yeah, I think it was relative to... October 9th, I think it was, it was like last week Sunday that I uploaded the last video, or sometime last week, which I guess isn't entirely off schedule since I generally post once once a week, um, because of the fact that I finished two different uh, things, the next video should be out um, by Sunday, because I'm working on, I'm doing an art challenge, uh, a weekly art challenge that's going on for the entirety of October. Uh, and the week of the first theme was thick. So I made a thick version of this character that you guys are seeing me design. So that will be the next video, which, I, like I said, should be out by Sunday. I'll probably record both of these. Both of those videos today. Today is October eighth that I'm recording it, so I'm should be. I might record both both videos today, or I might record the uh, thick drawing uh, on the day that you guys see this video. Either way, it should still be out by sun by Saturday uh, by Sunday at the latest. I could have it out Saturday and have two within the week, but. No, I'll probably have it on Sunday, just so there's one for this week, one for next week. Um, anyway, welcome back. So, originally, um, my plan was to have the next two drawings be fairy tale themed. I was going to do it for the mail, I was going to do a Natsu drawing, like either a redraw or a, like, or something, um, representing Natsu's childhood when he was with Igneo or something of the sort. And then the female drawing was going to be a back view of Ulter, uh sitting down on something. Um, that was the original plan. Um, obviously, as you guys can see, that's not happening. And for the next um, few videos, I'm probably going to be drawing this OC a lot because I just just created a reference sheet or character sheet as some people call it. I call it a reference sheet because I use the sheet I will be using the sheet as reference whenever I draw. Now I generally use a reference whenever I draw characters in general, especially if it's my first time drawing the character and even if it's not my first time I'm still using a reference to draw them, especially if I'm trying to draw a specific version. For example, my most recent Luffy drawing, which was the first video that I uploaded this year, the twenty twenty, I used I lived, since I was redrawing, I was referencing the, the exact scene, I was, the exact shot I was redrawing that I got from episode 914 of One Piece, and the reason I remember it's that episode is, well, uh, it's in the name of my piece, because it's, I'm redrawing from that episode. I initially drew that in 2019 on paper, and then um, transferred it digitally, and I think... Um, the Luffy, that might be one of the few drawings from this year that I started on on paper, since you guys know that there's a point, um, ever since last drawn, I've drawn, uh, done fully digital drawings, and then there was even a time, I'm not sure if I talked about it, but I tried to, I took some time to practice drawing and try to increase my efficiency so I can draw faster, which, to be honest, hasn't really worked out, like, I found a new way to draw, but it's not really efficient when I work on because the difference between when I'm doing quick sketches for practice and the final piece is with the final piece, I'm just trying to make it look as good as I can. Not that I don't do that with the sketch, but at the same time, the sketch is more rough, which is for me when I sketch. You guys uh, have seen the recent videos I've shown each stage. During the first this first stage, you do the sketch, but the sketch doesn't look rough because I usually clean it up after I put in all, all the different lines I need to represent the arms and the legs, and then 
you have to not, uh, erase the inside so then I just have the arms like this. It, it gets a little bit complicated. So, uh, the name of this OC, uh, I came up with, I searched up ways to name an OC, then one method popped up to me, uh, popped up, popped out at me when I read this website. I forget what the website was. Um, if I can find it in my search history, which I sh hopefully I can, maybe I, I'll link it in the description if you guys want to look at it for yourselves. But basically, it was to create anagrams um, of certain words, which, uh, which is what I went to do. But then I realized that uh, what an actual anagram is. Because basically, what it is, I just mixed around the letters of a certain word. For this name, I mixed around the letters of the word grenade, and I got regding. I didn't want the G there, so I just took away the G in the final name. Then I actually realized what an anagram is. Anagrams are actual words that can be rearranged to spell other words. For example, uh, from a video I watched, the word uh, Stephen can be rearranged into, or the name Stephen can be rearranged into the word events. I didn't realize this until after I already came up with a bunch, I remixed Grenade a bunch of times. So hopefully, um, yeah, ne next time, I'm still probably going to use that to try to come up with random names. Um, because it did help out. It did get me thinking. Um, Lamb is just something I came up with with the last name. It doesn't really mean much. It's kind of like Bam or Bang. Um, I haven't really thought about, like, who reading really is. She just, as for now, uh, reading is simply going to be an OC that I will probably draw a lot in this channel. Or draw, draw a lot and post on the channel so I can get used to drawing her. And then as my art grows and as my art style develops uh, more and more, um, she might look different from the initial reference sheet, which will be fine. That just means I'm evolving as an artist. And then I will continue on and uh, create fan art at some point. Um, actually, after, after reading, I'm probably going to uh, do a modified, uh, modified design, a uh, modified redesign for uh, Home 20 Kete, which you guys have seen the reference sheet video. Um, the reference sheets actually made him shorter than the initial design, so I do want that to be modified, because he isn't supposed to be a short character, or he's not supposed to be a short-looking character, so that does need to be modified uh, for the sake of the video. So, um... Uh, if you guys notice, I have a, I separated the I se I've separated the video and the images to show each and every process. First was designing the body proportions, which I had to do twice because uh, initially I made her five heads when she's supposed to be six. So then I had to rework that, uh, come up with ten uh, thing ten designs for the clothing, narrowed it down to three with what like and what to dislike. That's what the green, red, and yellow highlights are for. Did the same thing with the hair, and yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy.